From an early age, I've heard that Louisiana, where I've lived my entire life, is losing a football field's worth of land to coastal erosion every 100 minutes. In my lifetime so far, we've lost over 400 square miles. That's more than New York City, San Francisco, and DC combined. This is due to sea level rise, warming waters, and increasingly severe storms, all further hastened by climate change. And this problem is not unique to Louisiana. Most of the United States shoreline is experiencing moderate to severe erosion. We've tried to combat this problem by building barriers between us and the ocean, but it's not enough. Coastal homes and businesses are literally washing away with the land. And land loss reduces the resilience of coastal and inland communities alike to the threats of climate change. On top of coastal land loss, my state of Louisiana consistently ranks last place in the country for sustainability and the amount of waste that's recycled. Specifically, Louisiana landfills around 60,000 tons of glass every single year. Now, where some may have seen two completely unrelated problems, I see one solution. What if we could divert glass, which is made from sand, from our landfills and revert it back into sand for use in our communities and our coast? It turns out we can, and we are. While I was a university senior studying chemical engineering, I founded Glass Half Full, Louisiana's first glass recycling facility. Thank you. We started in a backyard with a small pulverizing machine and quickly moved into a 40,000 square foot facility where we are now capable of processing over two million pounds of glass per year. Our approach is built on three pillars, economic strategy, environmental protection, and community engagement. Together, we have created a truly networked blue economy around glass recycling and coastal restoration. While speaking to community partners and stakeholders, we did encounter several common questions. In fact, the conversations often run something like this. Now, why would we put glass in the environment? Wouldn't that be dangerous? Well, the reality is that recycled glass sand is mostly made up of silica, just like the natural sediment found in our region. Okay, but if it's glass, couldn't it be sharp and cut people or animals? Not necessarily. It does depend on how it's processed, but when we an analyze the grains of the sand that we produce, we find that only 1% of grains are more angular than the sediment found in our region. So it won't cut you. Okay, but couldn't there be contaminants in the glass, like from labels or colorants? We found trace amounts of heavy elements, but again, no more than the sediment already found in our region, and labels are very easily separated in the pulverizing process. Okay, you're starting to convince me that it's safe. But can plants grow in glass sand? Absolutely. When we analyzed greenhouse experiments, we found that plants growing in recycled glass sand and native sediment grew just as well as the plants growing in our native sediment alone. Okay, I'm convinced. But why would we use recycled glass sand over conventional dredge sand that we use for coastal restoration? Sand is the planet's most exploited resource after water. So realistically, we cannot keep mining and dredging the amount of sand that we need for coastal restoration projects. Solving our land loss crisis will require convergence of all types of ideas. And glass sand is an important part of that solution. Now, after all of that, the last question is usually, 
simply, well, when are you getting started? And the answer is this. We are currently able to process 20,000 pounds of glass per day. By the end of 2023, we will be equipped to process 320,000 pounds of glass per day. <laughs> Effectively enabling us to recycle all of the glass going to Louisiana landfills. Already, our recycled glass sand has been used in two erosion control projects. The first with the Pointe aux Chênes indigenous tribe that asked us to bring sand and gravel to restore a piece of their land, plant native plant species, and improve water drainage. The second with U.S. Wildlife and Fisheries to restore a blowout that occurred during Hurricane Ida and prevent further land erosion in the area. And we have more planned for the coming year. Our blueprint for establishing a regionally networked blue economy from the ground up in Louisiana can be adopted by other coastal communities the world over. Glass Half Full's model of glass recycling is environmentally and economically sustainable as well as replicable. So if you think recycled glass sand could be used for your coastal community, reach out and send me a sand sample. <laughs> we all need to work together to stop climate change and coastal erosion. But in the meantime, we need to adapt and protect our communities. Climate change is here. It's a reality. But by working together, we can find sustainable solutions and protect the homes and the people who may otherwise be washed away. Thank you. Thank you.